Joe, uh, we spoke about uh, the possibility of a Nintendo U Cinematic Universe, speaking of, I guess, Universal, right? And uh, it was announced yesterday that The Legend of Zelda is getting a live action movie. Hold on, hold on. This is co produced by Sony Pictures. Oh, oh and Nintendo uh, and Zoe. Avi Arad as a producer. So oh. um we know Avi Arad started uh he, he was a producer for Marvel, right? And the He was on uh, the Spider Man movies. Yeah, exactly. Cause uh he's got like he's been he's been around for a while, right? Uh and he was supposed to be the one that got the rights for the Metal Gear movie from Kojima to Sony and like they, he's well connected, I, he's fine. Like people are saying, it's like, oh man, this guy is trash. His it's, track record is rough. It's it's like rough, in his last but... couple of years has not been that Yeah, good. but you got Shiggy, the dude. Like like Shiggy, like is gonna be his input. Oh, and I agree. I agree. Not I gonna, think it was fine. Yeah, it's I not think gonna so. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's gonna be just the one making the stuff, the business part of it happen. Um, I think I think uh, Miyamoto is gonna be more of the the producer on on the movie oh sure so, sure um and uh yeah so it's it's gonna happen uh they did announce uh that uh is gonna be directed by the guy that did the what was the mace runner movies right yeah which i did yeah, like West those. Ball. yeah yeah and then he's directing the uh the next uh uh planet of the apes so yeah it's you know the uh, screenwriter from Jurassic World. It's, it's looking ca- good. cautiously optimistic, right? We, yeah, we're all Jurassic cautious. World, I understand, but yeah. but uh, I, I like the first one. I think the first one's fine. Yeah. I think the first one's pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, cautious, again, cautiously optimistic as we were with Mario, right? We all know that Mario turned out to be pretty good, and uh, you know I really enjoyed it. Um. It's gonna come down to casting, dude. Do you think that they will actually try and get Tom Holland to be Link? No, I don't. No, I don't think they'll do it. Okay, too, this... too old. No, I don't think. So. I don't think okay. too old. I just don't think. I don't think Tom Holland will do it. Okay. All right. Tom Holland's in a unique space right now as an actor. He's about to go back to to doing Spider Man again, and probably take a few projects in between. Because most of the stuff he's done outside of it has, he's got a little of the Chris Helmsworth effect, which is not something that big studios are looking for. Uncharted didn't do that good, right? Um, but anyways, great news, good you know director, all this like all of it, all side sounds great. Universal's on a win streak. Uh, they've made billions of dollars from from their Mario movie, so uh, they're looking for another home run with Zelda. Like that's the perfect transition. Let that have its own thing. Yeah. Uh, live action. Interesting. Uh, if it would have yeah. been animation, right. People would have made the assumption right away. Crossover is going to be coming at some point. They're making this clear. Live action is going to be its own separate thing. Fine with this. I'm fine with this. Yeah. Um, but regardless, like ironically yesterday, even there was the leak, the one universal intern that leaked, hey, Shrek 5 is still being in the works by putting it on their LinkedIn. And no. that's how that whole thing got leaked about I Shrek 5 that they're I working on. I didn't see on. that. Yeah, dude. What? Yeah, dude. Check it out when you get a chance. It's hilarious. <laughs> Shrek 5 got leaked through wow. LinkedIn. And I'm getting moved there, but they're, they're working on that one. Uh, obviously, you Wait, know, this did, project. The, yeah, I've seen, like, didn't that have, like, was it Assassin's Creed or something that got leaked out like that, too? So, like, Someone in LinkedIn, like that, yeah. Put it out. yeah, 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 yeah. It's that's crazy. gonna be going through Netflix, but like it's it's just interesting. Like Universal clearly has a, a, a clear plan in place, and they're keeping all the franchises that are like Shrek is is a household name. Smart, make another one. Uh, obviously, Mario. They referred to it in their last business meeting as the Mario franchise. Right. So they're making it clear oh, they're gonna make a lot totally. more of those, which we knew. Totally. Uh, yeah. And then now they're trying to build another franchise. I love that. Like. Take your time with it. Get it right. Right. You, you keep saying Universal's in a great, great position. They're in a great spot, to, dude. To do exactly what needs to be done. Like they, they again, they saw the opportunity and they took it, right? And now, and now they're stealing Disney's Halloween candy. So, uh, yeah, they, you know, I, 
you you gotta be like you, you gotta you gotta I don't want, I don't want to say that you got to be ruthless, right? But you have to know Not when even. you got to you you got to know when to make your moves, right? And it's they have over here. They have been strike first strike hard. <laughs> right, well, no yeah, yeah, no mercy. <laughs> but uh, but they've been able to st not not only uh strike first and strike hard, um strike where they're supposed to strike. At, yes. Right. It's like, yes. oh, Disney movies are doing this. It's like, no, we're staying legit to the story. Oh, Disney parks are doing this. It's like, nah, bro, we're just keeping this thing in our parks, right? So they, they've they been counter punching at every turn and they've been, they, they've done a great job. So just, just this last week, I already spoke to another person who just told me like, yeah, I'm going to switch over to uh universal, like on my, really? their annual passing. Wow. And I mean, it's, it's happening because money is expensive and you know what the product universal has is consistent. Right, right, right. Totally. Yeah. <sighs> Bro, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Uh, all right, so uh, Joel PS Five Slims are out there in the wild already. Yep. And um, you can actually get there's a, there's a Spider Man bundle, there's a, a Call of Duty bundle, there's you know uh, just by itself. There's the digital. There's the OG PS Five. There's Spider Man. There's all the PS Fives are available right now. So, so. Uh, yeah, and uh, there was a teardown done, and they showed that not much has changed. Actually, um, it, it seems like they just consolidated the, the tech a little bit better inside the machine to make it smaller. The It's not that much smaller compared to the other one, which is why they're not calling it slim, right? I think that's, right. that's smart, right? Yep. They're, they're just they just kept the name, same name. I was like, oh yeah, this is just a redesign. We're not calling it anything different because it's not right. Um, but did you see, Joel, that the digital version? Not, I'm sorry, not the, the the this version of the PS5 is the same as the digital version. You can remove. No, no you didn't see that. You can remove the Blu-ray drive, and it has a connector, like a proprietary connector at the bottom. It's the you same said thing. It. it has. That's why it has to have that download thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. So you just got to drive. It's probably needs to download a driver or something. You said this. Yeah. Wow. You were dead on right. Yeah. I told you, dude. So, um, yeah, it's the exact same thing. It's just that you get the disk drive with it already. <laughs> so there's really no reason to buy the digital version right now. Right. No, I see. Unless yeah. you do want to, you know, save yourself the 50 bucks and you're not, unless your library is 100% digital, right? Right, uh, and you're not interested in adding the drive, then then that's fine. But you know, if you, if you have the opportunity to go for the one with the disc, go for that. And uh, yeah, so on top of that, Sony uh, revealed the uh, their Q2 sales. Uh, PS5 reaches uh, 46.5 million units sold, and uh, Spider Man. Uh, with the record breaking was four million in copies in ten days, right? It's insane. So or eleven days. So they, uh, yeah, you know, fastest selling uh, Sony game in history, and uh, yeah, it seems like they're doing pretty good. So they're, um, I guess, their revenues down uh, from the rest of the company, but PlayStation is still doing very, very well. Um, I know that Sony is having a, a really good push with TVs lately. Like a lot of people are going for, you know, they're just like, oh yeah, they they suddenly remembered that Sony actually made good TVs, and uh, and start yeah, what a shocker, right? Um, I know. And and you know, Sony's doing much much better. I think Sony's also doing much better because they realized it and they they've had more budget friendly models too. Yeah. So that that's really helped them a lot. I'm still super happy with my X90 from, you know, last year model. It it works great. It has all the, you know, Bravia XR features and you know, uh, it was auto latency, auto auto yeah. low latency and and uh, and VRR and all that. So I'm I'm super happy with it. Um, but they they done a really good job at, at diversifying their their TVs. Like they have a TV, a budget. You want a good budget TV? Get a Sony, right? You also yeah. want a good high end TV? You can also buy a Sony, right? They have the entire <laughs> line. 
So uh, I think they, they're doing really well with that. Um, but uh, there was an announcement today that they are delaying uh, most of their uh, game as a service uh, projects. I don't know if you saw that. I did see a little bit yeah. of that. So um, it seems like whatever we we talked about last time about um, uh, the that lady that worked at, at PlayStation that was let go uh, and Jim Ryan, right? Kind of like around yeah. the same time. It's making sense now, right? I think from what I heard, they had like 12 games planned or 12, 12 games of service projects announced and they've cut their, their, you know, they delayed over half of them. So makes sense that what we heard about Jim Ryan leaving or retiring and then the, uh, this lady retiring and then David Jaffe comes comes out and says, like, oh, she was let go because this thing, right? It, it's kind of making sense now. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, PlayStation is still having a great, great year this year. Totally. Really, really good sales out there right now. I don't know if you saw all the uh, the, the, the dual senses are on sale. The plates are on sale. 49 bucks or yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's really good price. That's really aggressive for the holidays. That Spider-Man bundle, dude, that's gonna be that's gonna do really, really good. Oh, for sure. So it's like okay. So you're you're an average consumer. Would you get the console that comes with Spider-Man or the one that comes with Diablo 4? Oh, and Spider-Man, no brainer. <laughs> no brainer. No, that's like yeah. No, that it's not it's even like Spider-Man or Spider-Man. Like <laughs> Right. Right? And I understand, I don't right? I don't, right. It's like I'm not dissing on Diablo Four. I know it's, no, I'm sure it's, it's, a, fine. it's a fine game, yeah. right? But that's a game that does not. That's a hardcore game that that yeah. doesn't speak. It's like it's like oh yeah, we're going to here you go. Uh, here's our Elden Ring bundle. Like the game's not gonna fly with all everyone, right? No, so, it's a, little it's Billy's a, not gonna get that at launch. Little, little Billy is gonna get stuck on the tutorial cave, and <laughs> and have a you know. Have a real, real good time against the uh, the soldier of Godric. Uh, <laughs> what a little belly! Little so belly. Much yep. So, uh, yeah, it's a it's a good bundle. It's out there. You know, if you guys are looking for a PS Five, now's the time for sure. So, um, actually, the the Series S had a really good bundle. Um, they were, I think it was was it Best Buy or Walmart. One of the two, I think it was Best Buy. It was a, a three month game game pass and an extra controller for two eighty. So that's pretty good deal. So you got three three months worth of games there, and and you can re up. So you know, still not bad. But uh, on the other end, Joel, uh, Nintendo has come out also and said that the Switch has reached one hundred and thirty two million units, dude. How <laughs> crazy is that, man? Not even like it's not even shocking anymore. Just because I, I talk to so many people like on a daily basis of just that just even like your casuals, like those who love games. It's like everyone has one. Like it's just that's just how it is. Like right. do, who do you have a switch? Oh, it's if you don't have it, it's your your sister, your brother, your like someone everyone knows somebody who two. has one. We have two. We have two here. right in your own house, right? I, I had um, it I had it within reach this time, the, the pro. There it yeah, is. Yeah, there yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there See, it is. I, this this controller is good, man. I I really like this controller. Like, it, but it takes it takes me back to the Wii days, where everyone had a Wii and like that was just the thing. Right. But this is even better. This is just this is next level, dude. Yeah, and so uh, Nintendo came out and said, uh, or they asked the president of Nintendo about the the successor. Uh, you know, they yeah, and he goes, it's like. There's there's nothing there's nothing coming out. It's a switch. Here you go. It's the same thing that they used to do. Do you remember the the what was it the uh, um when when they when the when the DS was coming out and they asked Reggie um, oh, about yeah. the Game Boy Advance and it was like no this is plan of of our of our three stage strategy right it's like we're gonna have the the DS and and. And the GameCube and the Game Boy Advance, and there's gonna be like a three tier, like a like a three thing happening at the same time. So, so 
yeah man it's like we we know we know what's up it's like they can get they can come out and say it right it's not it's it's probably not gonna gonna be that way but uh you know tears of the kingdom uh 19.5 million units it'll reach 20 here you know before the end of the year um incredible numbers from uh from nintendo pikmin 4 dude it's like 2.61 million units um it, they're they're doing very very well 50.2 percent of their sales are digital like they're they're they don't have to go through uh a middleman and uh the switch is a console that that would benefit from but from you you going all digital because yeah. you know it's it's a it's a handheld so the more you have on it at, at any given time the better right, right so right. um yeah, man, this is overall good news. Uh, solid numbers. Um, waiting for X- Xbox. They don't share numbers anymore. They're they're doing their. They only care about Game Pass subscribers at this point. They don't care about units sold, to be honest. So, um, you know that that's their thing. They're 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 a service now. They don't they don't right. they don't care about how many Xboxes they sell. They 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 care about how many Game Pass subscribers they have. So. Totally. Yeah, man. Uh, good stuff. I don't know if you have anything to share about uh, about that, but pretty good numbers, if you ask me. Yeah, I think I think we're, I think it's good. I don't really have anything to add to it, but uh, no, it's, it's completely fair. Yeah, yeah, man. It's good stuff. Um, and I don't know where today uh, we get the announcement that the Steam Deck is getting an yeah. OLED model that looks very very nice. I mean, the Steam Deck is was very enticing back then um it's it's even more so now so um 549 and 649 for the 512 and the one terabyte models uh they're gonna be available starting on the 16th of this month and yeah man it's a it's a good little console man it's like it 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 truly is an xn uh handheld handheld yeah so it, this is good. This is good for the industry. Like it, this is good to have another, um, not in the conglomerates of your, you know, your Sony and your Nintendo and your Xbox, but having, you know, clearly there's a huge passionate community of the Steam community uh, playing their games, and to give them a console, a handheld console that can su- support this uh, high end graphics. Like this is really, really good for pushing innovation and competition within the industry and not, you know, letting people just become comfortable with the status quo because now right. like, okay, Nintendo clearly doing great, clearly doing well. Like we talked about before about how they're they're looking to make sure that their next switch or whatever you want to call it is gonna end up being, you know, able to support some high end uh, you know, gamings and processors, right? So this is good again, just pushing the industry forward. Right. I'm glad that this is there. It's not for me, um, but I, I think it's a good console. I think it's a good option. Pricing should be a little lower. Uh, they need it to be between four and five hundred. But I understand what you get out of it is is also pretty special too. Right. Yeah. No. Totally. Um, yeah. The ability to play some of these PC games on the go is is just incredible. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, it's uh, good stuff. 